Oh, I misspelled it. Uh, I'm smart like Hulk. Anyway. <laughs> SMRT. Special. Very special. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, let's take a look at this one. This one looks fancy. There you go. It is called the Gallery of Lost Toys. Ooh, that one looks good. So my yeah. parents went out to Nevada for their vacation. They were at uh, well, Death Valley. They called me up and they said it's 9:32 in the morning and it's 108 degrees. It's like, well, you're fucking stupid. Bitch, 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 you bitch. You went bitch. to Death Valley, asshole. Not me. <laughs> it ain't called Death Valley because it's all fun and games. No. Well, Ooh, the thing is, it's full of giant poisonous spiders. Otherwise, one could think you're in Australia. Yeah. All right. That looks pretty good. good. Um, I think. Fuck. What do I have you saved as? As I think. Yeah. Uh, Something like that. Now, why Azrael? Wait, what? Why, yeah, look, there it is. Why Azrael? Really? Really? Why? Because I don't, uh, um, I don't know what I'm. I think Azrael is the name of a demon, but I don't know the story behind it. Uh, right, right. It, it's nothing so fancy as that. When when me and my brother would hook up for a land, we'd use um a split name, as it were, because you know we were always ganging up on everyone, as brothers do. He would be yeah. Kargaz, and I would be Azrael. Taken from Azrael Kargaz. Oh, it was rather, yeah. I don't it was know who that is. Using, it, was, yeah, it was no one. <sighs> Made up name, bro. Well, the the reason why is because Azrael is the name of Gargamel's cat from yeah. the Smurfs. Uh, if you look in the um, <laughs> yes, that's, that's true. Name, also, bro. isn't I it the angel of it. destruction? I thought it was. I mean, uh, really? oh yes, that too. I will. Fuck it, that's what Wikipedia is for. Let's find out. Azrael Abyss? Azrael. I will fucking bust out Wikipedia on this shit right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Azrael. Okay. What? Oh, bust it hard. Hey, Grim. Hey, what? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, go for it. Okay, um, NE790, how much would I, uh, how much mm -hmm. would you charge if I asked you to make a poster of Saffron as she withdrew in that comp? I right. need to look it up first. Hang on a sec. I gotta look hey, Grim. Hang on. Hey, hey, Grim. There we go. What? Archangel of Death. Uh, some extra biblical traditions, also the angel of death in Islamic theology and Sikhism, it is an English form of the Arabic name Israel or Azrael. I think that's pronounced that way. Yeah, the name traditionally attributed to the angel of death in some sects, yada yada, as well as some Hebrew war. The Quran never uses this name, referring instead to Malak al Mot. Which translates directly as Angel of Death, yada 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 yada. So what? Death and literally sex? means... Literally means whom God helps in an adapted form of Hebrew. Yeah, basically it's just the Angel of Death. Alright. Okay, Hello, Lemon. Now fancy. Yeah, now did you uh, say 791 or 790? 790. Okay. 790 Ooh. was done by, uh... DJ, DJ Kid. Uh, well, I, I miss her. I drew it and she decided to ink it to show me how stupid I was being. So that's actually her doing. What do you mean, oh. stupid you were being? You don't remember? Because I was complaining about. thing. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it was full of tits. <laughs> I mean, literally just Google tits. You will find tits. Yeah, but they won't I be manic wants... chicks tits. I, I, I don't think you understand. As Ron White put it, if you see one tit, you want to see them all. 
see one woman naked, you want to see them all. No, he said specifically about boobs, which is <laughs> because what had happened is a woman, like a, uh, about a 50 or 60 year old woman said, do you want to see my tits? And he drank a little bit of his whiskey and said, yes, I do. <laughs> and he goes, oh, roll him back up. <laughs> oh, snap. I love Ron White. And, yeah. uh, I don't know how many guys they're going to use to kick my ass. I don't know how many guys it would take to kick my ass, but I know how many they're going to use. Yeah. Not enough. <laughs> I love that. You're being drunk in public. I was drunk in a bar and they threw me in public. Yeah, Arrest like, them. Hater <laughs> 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 Sally. Is that a comedian or something? Yeah, he's yes. a comedian. He's a really funny comedian. He's a great comedian. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's Ron White. Ron White. R O N White. As in the color white. And he's he's an old school Texan cowboy. And he turned comedian after he got hit in the head once too many times by hooves. And then he just... He's fucking funny. And he always he always does a stand-up with a whiskey. I thought he's got his own YouTube channel. Does he? God. Yeah, he always does a stand-up holding some whiskey. Yeah, okay, that's, yep. that's beautiful. I hate it when comedians don't have their own channel, so you have to hunt for their stuff. Yeah. I remember one show, he took a sip of that whiskey, shuddered, and said, that's good coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Guy's a fucking boss, is all I'm saying. He is. Always oh, the story of Tater Salad and Tater Talk. <laughs> You got me. You got the tater. I fucking love him. His dog going, Masturbate me, you son of a bitch. I don't have any thumbs. <laughs> I don't have any thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, God. I don't remember his name, but there's this hilarious um, fucking, fucking um, Australian comedian. I can't remember his name, but he's fucking hilarious. I love this. He, um... He goes out hunting with a bunch of Americans, right? And they're hunting like grizzly bears or anything, right? And and he goes up to the hunters in their lodge, and they're just like, "You've only got one for like flip flop or thong, right?" And he's just like, "Nah, mate, found one." <laughs> and then like you know, he goes out with his boomerang, and they're just like, "We're hunting grizzlies. You can't just take that." He's just like, "Nah, nah, I'll get him." Right? So he goes out, and they're just like, "Oh my god, he's gonna get killed!" Right? And then you hear him running. He's like, "Open the fucking door!" And he's being chased by this grizzly bear, right? <laughs> open the fucking door! And they open the door, and then he turns and runs away. Right, I brought him, you kill him! <laughs> I know, I've heard that. I've heard that bit before, and I can't remember what the guy that did it. Fucking hilarious, I can't remember his name. Oh, that's brilliant! Open the fucking door, now kill him! Right, I him, now you need to kill him! <laughs> I love that. You've only got one shoot. Now, I found one, mate. Oh. <laughs> oh, let me see if I can find it on my Pandora. I don't even know how, but um, on my Pandora radio station, I actually got uh, a couple comedians showing up. So, I don't know how the hell I pulled it off. It's glorious, though. Uh, where was it? This one? Hang uh. on. Station details. Each on the trap. Just a love machine. Ah, uh, Stephen Lynch is amazing, by the way. Yes, he is. He uses his powers for evil. Thing. Yeah, it's so great. Guy's a guy's another fucking boss. That whole deal about talking about his pregnant wife. <laughs> I should punch you in the stomach and catch you unaware. I could swear to God you accidentally fell that flight of stairs. 
As I tell you that I love you, I will look you in the eye as I slowly slide the hanger up your thigh. Oh, that's right, <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> Fucking Nigel. Hey, Grim. Yeah. How, many, how, how do you get a hundred dead babies in a trunk? Pitchfork? <laughs> Use a juicer. Oh, that's good. How do you I mean, get them out of the totally trunk? You totally fit a hundred dead babies in a trunk hole. Use a straw? That's a good one. I was going to say chips. Ah, uh, chips is the classic answer. What's the difference between a hundred dead babies? What do you call a, a, a baby? What? What's I posted a possible a video of it. Not a video, but a clip. <laughs> what do you call a pile of dead babies? Well, what's the difference between a pile of dead babies and a Corvette? Lunch. No, I don't know. I don't have I don't have a Corvette in my garage. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a, a baby crawling up a woman's leg? Uh, uh going back home. Homesick. <laughs> yeah, I figured something like that. Yeah. Huh. Girl, I give right to school. Well, there's always the classic, uh, what do you call it, dead baby in the middle of the ocean? Dead baby. Bob. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> it's like those two babies, those two dead babies in my uh, window. You know what they're called, right? Curtain Rod. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, I just think some people think think us sick. They're well, sick. We're Natchians. Well, we're by default. So. This is normal. Yes. <laughs> this is normal <laughs> and they're all wrong. This is normal and I am offended by them. Right, that's right. Mm, where is it? TCM is playing in tol played in tolerance this uh, evening. Jet, I've, uh, I've always been curious. What do you do? I look for a job. How long I'm have you been looking right for a job? Forever. Ah. Uh, since 2008. Have have you thought about just making a job? Well, how am I going to get paid for that? Well, do what I do. I made a job. That's I, not going to fly with my parents. I'm not doing, you know, I'm not making much, but I am making. That's not going to fly with my parents. I make Don't kick me well, out sir, of the house. Seriously. Who else here has any kind of artistic talent at all? Period. I. I the answer I, is no one. I don't. I, I do. I do. I do. That's a lie, and you know it. I, I am a video series if I could. For uh oh. Oh, it's um Ben Bailey. Ben Bailey. That's the comedian I was looking for. Oh. Who's Ben Bailey? A comedian. Pretty, a pretty funny comedian. Uh, just. One section of one of his shows showed up on uh, on my Pandora one day, and it was hilarious. Cause, Bill uh, Bailey. Ben, ben, ben Bailey. Bailey. On top of her, uh, ben, not Bill. Okay. Breast, breastplate. What? She put a little uh, stitching on top of her breastplate. What? This isn't the genetic opera, you know. I don't understand the breastplate part. Oh, so so we'll okay, on our chest. Genetic opera. Top chest. Have you not seen Repo? Yes, I've, I've seen Repo. It was stupid. It, it was awesome. I actually... Yeah. Choke I, on a million dicks. I, I actually have to kind of agree with Jet as much as it pains me. I did not like it. Now, I will not really? say you should not like it, because no matter what it is, I will never tell people not to enjoy something. But I didn't like it. I thought it was a little bit flat. I will yeah. say that the uh, music was pretty good. I liked the songs. The plot was a little drab, which is to be expected in an opera, to be honest. And the acting was somewhat flat. This thing mm -hmm. is not acting. That's a syringe. Point. That's not 
true. <laughs> Giles is an actor. Further point. I wouldn't know I don't pay attention to the actors too much. Anyways, further point being <laughs> the following movie that they made to try to milk the original opera movie. I did not see it. I imagine it was not nearly so enjoyable. Uh, they, they did good use of... Fuck, what's that opera singer's name? Shit, I can't remember her name. That chick. Started with a K. See, I, I used to remember her because she used to sing for Delirium, which is one of my favorite bands. And she sang for, like, the, I think their first and second CD. Kate? Karen? Kathy? I want to say Kaylee, uh, actually, but, or Kiri. I don't know. It's easy to look up. Kiri? Google is your friend. Yeah. Except I don't and care enough like... to, to switch, so fuck that. That's okay. And I don't care enough to know. Yeah, that. I would look it up, but no. <laughs> oh, it could be worse. Did you see that? Uh, there was a comic that I really loved uh, that was just one panel, and it was entitled The Days Before the Internet, and it's two guys sitting next to each other. Guy one says, I just thought of something that I'm interested in knowing. And the other guy says, that's a damn shame. Yeah. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Yep. Time to go to the library. Libraries are your friend. No, they're not. Most store of hobos. Libraries hate you. Hey. you steal their books and do <laughs> stupid shit with them. <laughs> Zombies hang out in the library. I think we, I think we accidentally <laughs> got a glimpse. Sometimes you might get a saddle. <laughs> <laughs> that face. That's a derp de deer face. Chad, I'm drawing you. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 I don't look like that. You, you kind of look like that. No, I don't. You have that same goofy grin. Yeah, your whole body's a fat dick. <laughs> Actually, how much? Uh, all right, I'll, I'll have a little bit of mercy. Jet, how how much have you lost over the last year? Because I know you've been working at Weight Watchers. <laughs> Really? Stop. <laughs> I can't afford it. I don't have a fucking job, you piece of shit. Well, why not use something that isn't Weight Watchers, like Body for Life, it. which is free? Hey, Dad, why don't you go work at Pizza Hut? Just don't eat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Honestly, you yeah. can cut back on food and you can put in uh, exercise without being part of some club for it. I've been doing that for the past two months now. Skinny. Not terribly. I look skinny, but only because I. I'm gonna add your, your wife. Thank you, Jack. Grim. Yeah, go and do it. Right. I heard you. All right. Yeah, that happened. Okay. Do it. Good choice, okay. Cuz. I can get lost if you want. Hey. hey, Robin. Hello. Hello. What up? Your Hello. husband's being a douche. I'm not uh, being a douche. I just started drawing him, and he's like, that guy looks like a derp. I'm like, I heard that. Me. <laughs> I don't look that way. <laughs> uh, so, Grim, are you going to draw yourself as fat as you are? You really are? Yeah, sure. <laughs> hey, I look like a long-haired silent bob. Even though I don't... Hey, why is my hair so long? Graham, you should draw me because I'm in the kitchen for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. What was that? Someone... I think Saren said he's in attention more? I, I told yes, him to draw me because I'm in the kitchen for I will suck Everyone your cock for attention. <laughs> I give you no attention, but keep sucking. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, should I should should I tell them how I think our daughter or son should earn their allowance? Oh God! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you are a fucking asshole. <laughs> I am. I look so bad. You are not allowed to hold your fashions. 
paralyze him now. Oh goodness. All of the noblest of all professions. Peter Maine. <laughs> Le lesbian. <laughs> No, gentlemen, the correct term is cum bucket. Your means are cum buckets. You gotta put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you can afford a maid, why not? You know, I have a bucket, and I could just use it. That's my cat poo! <laughs> <laughs> Did not know that Grim had a bucket for cat poo. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a long story. It's suffice to say that it beats... It beats constantly carrying cat poop downstairs over and over again, so now just once yep. a week I fucking Okay, that's just That would get very stinky though. Like... No, it's actually sealed. No, it's it's sealed. It, it's it was an old it was an old industrial paint um mixer. Oh so. yeah, okay. That'll do that then. Yep. Yeah, Isn't I, that I, more I, of a turd canister than a shit bucket? It yep. is yeah, well I just call it the cat bucket.